Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna to be reviewing the all new Toyota Crown Platinum. This is the one with the crazy hybrid powertrain. Before we get in this video though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larch Miller Toyota here in Murray, Utah for giving me some time with this car. I'm going to include a link to their inventory in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And then on a side note, if you wanna save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Powering the Crown is a turbocharged 2.4 liter four cylinder paired to a hybrid system and a six speed automatic transmission. Now, when it comes to fuel economy, this gets 29 around town and then 32 on the highway with power outputs being a whopping 340 horsepower combined. Now, before we go over the front end, I do wanna mention if you wanna see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. Now, I feel like this is the color that you see every single crown in when you see like the launch photos and everything. And so you guys can see it's black there in the center of the hood and then red off to the side. It's a pretty unique look. And then I think this is really cool. Look at the headlights and then notice how like the daytime running light goes into the grill there. And then look at this front end. It's pretty aggressive. It's actually mostly closed off though, which is quite interesting. But putting it all together, I really like the look of the crown with this two-tone design. I mean, that, that's just me. Come around the side here, our time wheel setup is 225, 45, 21 in the front and over in the rear as well. You guys can see here with the wheel design, notice how it's all blacked out, but you got the like silver there at the edges. I think that it kind of just makes it pop. Got the fender flares here. Notice the random piece of black trim there on the side. And look at the door handles. You got the chrome and the black trim. Mirrors are blacked out and you got more chrome trim here at the top. And well, when you put it all together, it is a little bit busy, but I think that it works, especially with this color combo. Now here's a key fob, you guys can see we've got our unlock function or lock function in the opening here for the trunk. And then you can see it says, well, maybe you can see it says crown there on the back. But anyways, we'll open up the trunk now. Now popping into the cargo area, you guys can see we've got quite a bit of storage space here. You've got the netting as well. And then notice it says Toyota crown. And then when we're all done, just plop. Now this is really cool. Look at the light bar here on the back end and then you guys can see again the Twitter logo and then Hybrid Max, right? You got the crown badge, got the platinum badge as well. Finishing things up, I'm not so sure about the two-tone here on the back with like the trunk being kind of like all blacked out and then that part of it, I'm not as sure about. But regardless, let me know what you guys think. Now taking a look at the door panel here, you guys can see we've got some padding at the bottom here and then look at the window control, heated seat here for the rear. This has the JBL sound system if you're wondering. And then look at this, you got the piping perforated all down the center portion with the seat. I think that looks really sharp. Now legroom here in the back is really solid. Got a storage pocket. We've got some vents with the USBs. And then of course, this has a whole uh, cup holder armrest set up, kind of <laughs> a little bit over engineered. And then if you're wondering, the headroom back here is pretty good. Now taking a look at the front drop panel, you guys can see again with the padding here, and then we've got all of our window controls, and look at this trim that goes around. We've got your mirror adjustment, the mirrors do power fold in, memory seats, and then we've got blind spot monitoring with the mirrors too. And then here's the front seat. Again, we've got the cool like little piping there, perforated all down the center portion of the seat, and we've got our power adjustments here on the side as well. Now taking a look at the steering wheel itself, you guys can see really nice trim all around. We do have paddle shifters here on the back for that six speed automatic. And then you got stuff like your adaptive cruise control here. You've got your regular like phone controls, volume controls, all of that fun stuff. And then your turn signal light stock and then your windshield wiper stock. Now I've got this full digital gauge cluster here in the center, which we can use to kind of like scroll through a couple different like gauge views, which is pretty cool. And you can see a bunch of different bits of info on the car as well with these different views. And then we also have some drive modes we can go through. Gives us a cool little animation here with the crown. And I think that's a cool kind of like changes the overall look. Um, but anyways, you can see all the different drive modes, sport, sport plus, you've got normal comfort eco, and they each show the little crown driving through. Now this does have a 360 camera system, so you can see the rear view camera, and then we got the bird's eye view as well. And then if we go to the rest of the infotainment system, you can see this is Toyota's newer unit, so you've got really good response time overall at the screen as you press different tabs. It does take a second for some stuff to load up though when the car is a little bit colder, but it's pretty cool to see the energy flow with the hybrid side of things. Now down below, we've got our controls here for our heated and ventilated seats. We also have our dual zone climate, and then I like the uh, wireless phone charging thing here. 
It's kind of like this little like cavern basically. And then this is just to pop on with the little outside camera view. And then you can see parking assist. We've got some USBs here. And then we got our shifter for that six speed automatic drive mode select, stability control, and then your auto hold here with your parking brake. You guys probably saw the cup holders here and then center console. Does this have the, yeah, it's got the double open. That is quite interesting indeed. And then you can see the dash here. You've got like nice padding on it. I think the design's pretty solid. And then, oh, also the vent. That's the cool part right there. That pops quite a bit. And then I guess I'll show you quickly. We do have a panoramic center up top. You got the control for it just right there. Now here's the window sticker for the Crown. Um, you guys can see 2023, obviously it's the first model year. Um, but notice almost everything standard equipment. There's your base MSRP 52,350. And then we've got a few options. After options, 55,181 is the total MSRP. Let's drive this and I have a very, very hot take on the Crown that I think you guys will find interesting. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off in the crown. You guys can see visibility of the hood. Both the mirrors do a blind spot monitoring and throughout the rest of the rear. And I am super hyped up to finally drive the crown. This car, I feel like, was like all the rage when it was first announced. And then it seems like everything's kind of like pulled back a little bit. People aren't really posting videos on it anymore. I guess most people have already gotten their content on it. But, you know, I'm always late to the show, I suppose. But, you know, better, better late than never. Um, now, I, I did say, you know, I do kind of have a little bit of a hot take on this, and my hot take has to actually deal with, uh, pertain to Lexus, and I, I think you guys will find it quite interesting. But initially setting off, I'm a huge fan of this uh, powertrain. I actually drove this powertrain earlier today, and so I, I, just, I just really like how this performs. It's, it's really smooth, and not only is it really smooth, but it's just like the power delivery is great. And what I mean by the power delivery is really great is it's just, it's very seamless. So um, what I've discovered with this powertrain is at least from what it feels like with the, the driving, um, it, it seems like you've got the electric side of things, which is filling the torque gaps between the gear shifts. So the gear shifts seem smoother and it doesn't seem like there's actually, like it's just like there's always power, right? With most cars, it's like you're on the throttle and then gear shift and you, you have the power cut and then once you're into the next gear then you got power again whereas this it doesn't feel like that happens it feels like it's just always there's always something happening which i really like it kind of you know, I, I feel like it does it does lend to a more luxury experience with the driving we're going over the train tracks the suspension with this is so comfortable it's quite astounding <laughs> this thing's quick this thing's quick Here's the beginning of the Ben Hardy hot take. So I just reviewed the Lexus RX 500H today, which has the exact same powertrain as this. Now Lexus claims it has more power than this, right? It's got like 366 horsepower, it's got more torque, but I'd say that they feel pretty much the same when it comes to acceleration. So there's that. But my the hot take part, this is so like this has been said that it's supposed to be like an avalon successor but it's you know more lifted off the ground all that kind of stuff it's not what this is this is a lexus rx that just so happens to have a toyota badge and a toyota interior that's that's pretty much what this is um it, again it's got the powertrain and with how this drives it drives so similar to the lexus rx and so I think that the crown, you know, in terms of like people that actually kind of like understand this car with its driving dynamics and everything that's going for it, they're going to realize that they're basically just buying a budget, budget, right? Lexus RX, which I don't think is a bad thing because it's like you're getting the powertrain, you're getting the acceleration feel of that car, you're getting, again, the features on this are like identical to what the RX has that I just reviewed. Um, it was like, I think it was like $70,000 right? And so you're getting all of that for a much lower price. And obviously everyone's gonna be like, well, yeah, Toyota and Lexus, that's what it always is. You get the Toyota for less money, but it's like, you know, sometimes the Lexus, you get a little bit more, but like this, it's, it, the seat's really comfortable. This has more of a Lexus-like interior. What I was saying is I really like this version of the Crown. Um, the first one that I drove that was like, so fast. The first one that I drove that was like the Prius Crown, I'm like, I'd, I'd rather just get a Prius, right? I'd rather just save the money and get a Prius. But with this, this actually makes a lot of sense. It's like, you're getting something that, as of right now, you can't really get another, any other Toyota, and you're, you're basically getting, a, again, a, a 
Lexus experience with the features and with the driving experience, like the ride quality with this, it's, it's right there with the RX. The driving dynamics are great. Um, but again, you're not paying the price. Like you're paying Toyota price for a Lexus. So let me know what you guys think about the Crown. Um, I, initially I was like, eh, I'm not so sure about this thing, but after driving the Platinum, I'm a big fan of this version.